Our lives were changed beyond words the day of the accident. The dreams of our daughter, our princess, my little one, were changed and remain in the state of limbo as she continues to recover. Her dream of becoming a dancer has been replaced by a dream of one day living independently. As she strives to adjust to her new life, we as parents try to remain positive and hopeful that our prayers will be answered and the physical and mental pain that she suffers will one day subside enough for her to enjoy what remains of her youth and her life. She was not able to attend the prom with her best friend or attend his graduation. It broke her heart to have her watch him walk across the stage on video. She was able to attend his farewell for his mission. It was the first time she was in public in her chair. She wasn't ashamed or embarrassed. She just wanted things to be normal, her old normal, and not to have to talk about the accident. She has recently re-enrolled in classes and hopes to graduate with, in her class of 2017. She won't be able to attend Pokey only because there's too many stairs. We are currently working with administration to see if she will be able to walk with her classmates for graduation. It is going to be a long road for her academically as she's having to repeat the classes that she enrolled in when the accident happened and she had to modify her classes based on her new goals. The drama and health professions classes had to be dropped for the time being. They have been replaced with classes that require less movement and travel. We're hoping that she'll be able to participate in plays and productions with the Act One program her senior year. Seeing one of her hand-painted backdrops on, her, on the stage, or her on the stage, will be nothing short of a dream come true for her father and I. We know we will never see her on point shoes again, but we hope one day to watch her dance, or watch a dance. She is choreographed for, for a group of young people performing under the name of a studio she owned. She wanted to be a dancer. That's all she ever wanted to be was a dancer. Since she was three, I want to be a dancer. Her college choices are currently limited to ISU for the time being due to her ongoing medical treatment and the financial situation that we as a family are in. Her dad and I have each had to get a part-time job to be able to meet the financial obligations we now face. We've had to completely remodel our home to accommodate Jade's chair. Modifying door frames, tearing out carpet, putting in floors, buying new vehicles and modifying others don't come cheap. Her surgeries and continued therapy cost thousands more. Working two jobs has taken a toll on us as individuals and on our relationship between her and her father and I. Our love for each other has been tested and stretched as far as the limits since the accident. Each person reacts to events differently. Depression, anger, resentment, and tears were once an hourly series of emotions that we felt. We still have our moments, but we get stronger every time Jade reaches a new milestone. Getting in and out of her chair alone, going up to the ramp to the front door, dressing herself, riding in a car without fear and anxiety, the anxiety and depression both of her brothers have experienced is only yet another chapter of her story. As she looks to the future, she knows that her world will be different, but she remains positive and hopeful. She wants to be married and still hopes one day to have a family. Her dream of dancing with her dad at her wedding now has a different look. I know she will dance with him. She will be beautiful. She'll just do it on four wheels instead of two legs. The doctors are still unsure if she will ever be able to become pregnant or if her fragile body will ever be able to carry a child to full term. But with her determination, physical therapy, and many prayers, miracles are possible. When Jade's life changed, everything in our life changed too. Every day is planned and coordinated around therapy, schools, doctor visits, and work. We don't have days off. She doesn't have days off. We work around her schedule. We don't vacation or take trips. We can't afford it, and right now Jade doesn't have the mental or the physical strength to do those things, but maybe someday. How we process emotions, how we drive, where we go, when we go, trusting others, it is all pain. Brianna, you are my second daughter. I trusted you. I trusted Jade with you. I trusted that you and Jade would look after each other. The trust was broken that day by one poor decision. No one is perfect and we all make mistakes. This mistake just had dire consequences. The loss that occurred that day cannot be measured. 
Sons and daughters, grandsons and granddaughters, brothers, sisters, and friends were lost that day. What great minds and souls did we lose that day? The future doctor that would find a cure for cancer, a great leader that would bring peace to fighting countries, a great teacher that opened the minds of hundreds of children, allowing them to learn and grow, a musician, a dancer, we will never know. We can only hope and pray that each of us finds peace, learns to forgive, and contributes to make a difference so this doesn't happen again. I love you, Brianna, and I forgive you. Thank you.